Chrome Voice Activate. Ascendete e mix de mine se vini na pozzas di Nets Rome Boys. Soft dot avra sim presidenti. And welcome. Welcome back. Nice little message from the sponsors of the show, <laughs> Albania. The president of Albania. <laughs> <laughs> Albanian's most hairiest guy. <laughs> <laughs> the hairiest <laughs> president sending us <laughs> his well wishes. <laughs> and sending a great job, boys. Very proud of you. Hello, fellow travelers. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to Vsauce YouTube. <laughs> Yeah. Welcome. I, I wish um, more elected officials were also streamers. Yeah, I mean, we're probably working on that. Yeah, we're you not know? far from a streamer president. 20, uh, I'm going to guess by, what year is it now? 2024? Yeah. I'm going to guess by 2040. We're going to have a streamer president? Yeah. What's up, guys? Welcome back to the... <laughs> yeah. Yo, uh, <laughs> Yo, Israel, thanks for the $300 million donation. Uh what up? Nice. Yeah, good to see you again. Appreciate you, dude. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Russia. Mods, ban that guy. Yeah. Yeah, oh, is that Russia in the chat? Is that <laughs> no, no, no. Ban that guy. Ban that yeah. guy. No fucking Russian, please. And it'll be a, a cat boy. <laughs> World's first ca both streamer and cat boy president. <laughs> it'll be so hot. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so sexy. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll have, it'll be the hottest of the cat boys. Yeah, it'll it'll be uh, America's it'll be next like top cat boy <laughs> <laughs> slash president. <laughs> Hello, girls. Please strut your stuff. Yeah. And they, what do cat boys do beyond um, like have photos of them taken? They make vaporwave music. Right. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> and, and stream, yeah, and game, <laughs> and game, <laughs> and take estrogen, yeah, yeah. It's been a big week. Gamergate is back. It is so bad. <laughs> <laughs> just in time. <laughs> yeah, just in time. Did Gamer you miss me? <laughs> Gamergate is back. Game journo scurrying <laughs> like rats. <laughs> it's over. <laughs> searing light of ethics. <laughs> Consumes them <laughs> <laughs> as the flaming sun of ethics <laughs> boils their blood. <laughs> yeah, get video game journalists and video game consultancy firms. It's over. <laughs> it's time to get a little more. Time to get ethical. Time to get. <laughs> All right, folks. <laughs> We've had our fun. <laughs> Where have they been? It's time to bring ethics back into the gaming world. It's time to get ethical. <laughs> Let's get ethical, baby. <laughs> Say a whole generation of gamers yeah. have been radicalized by unattractive women <laughs> in Western games. They've been brought to violence <laughs> by looking at sub sixes <laughs> <laughs> as the main characters and, and NPCs in their games. Yeah, and you know what? Now the ethics reaper has come to take his toll. <laughs> That's why we're so well adjusted and, and, and full of testosterone is because we were raised on games mm -hmm. where the main character was either a pill head or a perfect 10 yeah and that's it and there was only yep. two options yep you take pills for health <laughs> you're a cool badass wisecracking type of guy yeah you don't give a shit about anything who wears like sunglasses and yeah. leather trench coats and yeah. stuff <laughs> yeah and you go to high school <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you love Quake <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we were raised by those or yeah. Beautiful angels. Yeah. Beautiful angels. Big triangle boobs. Yeah, big cones. Yeah. And they drive uh, sports cars. Yeah. They're good at racing in, in downtown LA. And perfect waist to hip ratio. <laughs> <laughs> Flawless. <laughs> <laughs> Heaven yeah. sent. Yeah, now it's over. I can't imagine. If I had a son and he was like, Dad, I think I want to get into games, I'd say, Not right now. Yeah, no way in hell. No way in hell are you playing games right now. <laughs> yeah, you're doing drugs. <laughs> You're jacking off at school, <laughs> all right? Yeah. You're not doing games right now. Yeah, well, yeah, you're you're gooning. <laughs> you're, you're, get to gooning. <laughs> Here, I got eight iPads for you. Goon. Don't play games right yeah. now. Games are done. Yeah, games for um for girls now. Actually, I'm gonna say it. Games are back. <laughs> <laughs> but also, <laughs> but also, games have never been so back. <laughs> that is, and I think it was Abe Lincoln who said that a true mark of intelligence is being able to hold two opposing ideals in your head at once. Right. And one is that gaming is over. The gaming is 100% paused. And done. A Cooked. Done. Cooked. Simultaneously. Yeah. It's never <laughs> been more back. 
<laughs> yeah, the paradox of the gamer. <laughs> The gamer's paradox. <laughs> <laughs> How could we be so back if, it's, if we're also so over? <laughs> but and yet here we are. And yet <laughs> <laughs> I lo- by the way, I love this bit of like, like um, gaming philosophy. <laughs> <laughs> and yet <laughs> we remain. <laughs> we yeah, remain back and, yet over. And despite that all, you know, simultaneously across dimensions, <laughs> it's back. It's over. All at once. At the same time. At the same time. Wow. How could it be so back while being so over? Simultaneously so over. Because we've been playing Helldivers. Yeah. And it's probably the sh- the sickest shit of all time. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. It's really fun. Yeah. It's made me... Um, well, I played about... <coughs> um, I read a bit of articles about it. I read what people are saying. Played about yeah. six minutes. What, what, are, what, are the, what are the articles saying? Um, I've seen good. some people... Yeah, it's good. It's mm-hmm. like all video game discourse online. Very good. Yeah. Very good. Normal. It's a, uh, it's a dialogue that's... Well, are are people pissed at it? I found it quite enjoyable. Some people are. For what? Um, I've literally seen people be... <laughs> I've literally seen, like, bug sympathizers. Yeah, well, I remember a couple weeks ago, before I played it, there was a big uptick in Starship Troopers discourse. Yes. Which I think is probably related to it coming out. Yeah. And it did seem to come into camps of people being like, "The bugs." No, it's a, it's actually a parody, which is why you're supposed to sympathize with the bugs. Yeah, <laughs> it's yeah. like, well, <laughs> that's fucking retarded. <laughs> well, actually, it kind of it's that holding two simultaneous yeah. views that it's both a parody, and you should probably be rooting for the people over the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> it can be both. Yeah, you can still root for the humans over the the puke bugs like yes neil patrick harris is wearing a like ss officer's trench coat yeah but giant space bugs (laughs) (laughs) you know (laughs) yeah like um i've literally seen people be like this is just a game about ethnic cleansing yeah but of bugs robots and bugs robots and bugs (laughs) so not really not even so much an ethnicity Right. You couldn't even say it's like ethnic. <laughs> what yeah. ethnicity are you? Insect. Yeah, it's uh, it's pest control. <laughs> <laughs> I just call it a day's work, pal. Yeah. No such cleansing. <laughs> You're going to call this game ethnic cleansing? <laughs> Show me once where it's clean. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Show me one spot on Moldova where it's clean. <laughs> right, left, up, down, up, down, up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing clean about this, pal. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. I I think all their like flavor stuff is great. I think it's like awesome. all their like little voice lines. <laughs> so funny, dude! It's <laughs> here comes <laughs> democracy. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> it's it's honestly like everything I wanted. Like every th- every time I play like a Warhammer game, it's like mm-hmm. this is what I want the Warhammer game to be. And I know the War Warhammer is like more grim dark. Yeah, but. I just Warhammer's more conceptual. Yeah, it's more. It's more <laughs> of a. I, I, maybe I just don't have the RAM to rotate a shape of that. Actually, uh, two. I've never played a good 40k game. No. Maybe they exist. Total Warham was fun, but that's. Yeah. That's, that's like a kind of different. Vibe, yeah, that's. But that's just fun, yeah. not really because it's Warhammer. Well, it was good, but it's it's like Warhammer Fantasy. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I played yeah. the second one. Yeah, I, I did like that game. But all the other ones are shit. But and yeah, Helldivers really it captured both um, Starship Troopers and like the first like two minutes of Terminator Two. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's just boy game. Yeah, it's per- it's perfect boy game. Yeah, perfect boy life. <laughs> yeah, we are so freaking back. It, 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 we are back. It's so fun. Yeah, it is so until much the fun. unethical journos get their claws on it. Yeah, I see a lot of people. Uh, I'm a. Uh, conscientious objector to the bug war. Sounds like you, oh. should, you should be frontline <laughs> fodder in the bug war, pal. Get your ass in the fight. Yeah, because I mean, I feel like a bug space bugs are a pretty like unambiguous enemy. Yeah, it's not like you they're know? like these are space black people. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's a fucking bug. <laughs> yeah, they're e- they're evil. You can read into it as much as you want, but at the end of the day, it's a bug. Yeah, it's a fucking <laughs> bug. <laughs> you can be like, well, you're simulating ethnic cleansing. And it's like, well, sure, but it's a bug. At the yeah. end of the day, it's a bug and a robot. Well, as we've covered in this space before, <laughs> bugs are inherently evil. I've yet to see <laughs> a good version of this <laughs> bug. Okay. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, yeah we um, gaming is over, but back at the same time. Yeah. It's I I just can't like all day. I've just been like, 
watching little like just footage of dudes playing it and it's just pure oh, joy. Really? <laughs> just <laughs> just footage getting... of guys just being like, nah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm just awesome. getting it like exploded around and stuff. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, it's so fun. Yeah, it is. Re- it is really good. And it's made me into a the West has fallen guy. Uh, what do you mean? It's made me into a the West has fallen, but also the West will come back kind of guy. Oh, okay. Yeah, seeing um, it's activated your inner chud. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's activated my inner Cobson. <laughs> yeah, everyone has a Cobson living inside them. Yeah. No, but it, it's just so fun. It, yeah, it is. I just love getting into the hell pod and just being like fucking shot like Did, a bullet yeah, into a planet. shot out of a giant gun. <laughs> just fucking to go call in airstrikes on bugs. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really get more fun than that. Yeah. And then I got all these motherfuckers. Being, Have you played this 2D RPG about anxiety? No, and I never will. <laughs> yeah. Nope, because there's space bugs to kill, dude. Too busy killing space bugs. I'm too busy killing bugs in space. I mean, I, I've never really been into like that type of game mm-hmm. like in the sense like those online ones where like you go in and you do shit. like missions yeah and it, ha- it has all like the different currencies and shit yeah but this one keeps all that to like a nice minimum very unintrusive yeah yeah that's the thing i don't like about like i love call of duty i'll admit it cow of duty i'll admit it i love cow of duty yeah i love serving <laughs> my country okay <laughs> brother call me a patriot call me radical all you want i just love serving yeah but like it, it is like extremely annoying like when you boot up the game and it's just like hey do you want to spend 40 bucks yeah. Like, no. Well, and I mean, fighting in gay little human wars? Not even. When you could be fighting against bugs? It honestly felt like I was just spinning my tires. You could be in a mech suit fighting against bugs? <laughs> <laughs> Fight. Also, that's the thing I like about the game is like, there's like something about it. Like when you finish a mission, it's like you have progressed this planet 0.000012% further towards liberation. <laughs> I yeah. know that's almost nothing. Well, and then, but it's not nothing. But when you, when everyone together gets it to hundred percent, you get yeah. a fucking mech. Yeah. Or other cool shit. Some other shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's f- so swag. <laughs> Outstanding patriotism. <laughs> that gets me every time. It's yeah. the same. It's the same shit I think that happened with like Top Gun when Top Gun came out and people were like, "Man, oh, this is just war propaganda." It's like, yeah, but it's fucking good. Yeah. It rules. <laughs> <laughs> they got real planes, dude. People don't like to acknowledge that. Like, I know war is like generally bad but the like the aesthetics of war are so sick yeah like, like war on a surface level rules like yeah like all the like, cool battle vehicles and Just <laughs> fucking <laughs> explosions it's, it's awesome that's why it's been like the basis for like human storytelling for like yeah hundreds of years it's well based like since the beginning it's always been about it, war yeah because it's so cool it, 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 yeah, obviously I'm not saying I love killing people and death is good. Well, now we live in a golden age of where you can do uh, do it against bugs online. <laughs> For as long as you want. <laughs> For as long as you want. Yeah. It's so good. Yeah, we should just become a, for the duration, just become a Helldivers podcast. Yeah, where we talk about <laughs> the current meta. Yeah. We're moderating. I, I don't actually know what it is. I've played it for like yeah. I don't have <laughs> four. I played hours. it for the first time yesterday. <laughs> but it's, I love it. Yeah, it's extremely fun. But it's sick. Yeah, I, I'm very. I, honestly, I'm like, let's get this over with, so I can go home and play. It right yeah, now. I'm just looking over at my computer there, thinking like, man, not so long ago I had hell divers up there. <laughs> I'm watching the the cat the like capture right now, and just yeah. as soon as it goes fifty nine fifty nine, and then it crosses an hour, I'm out. <laughs> We're out. All right, Ooh. see you later. Okay, <laughs> hell divers on. <laughs> Dark ambient mix, <laughs> second monitor. <laughs> dungeon synth mix on. Yeah, dungeon toad music, activate, and we're in. <laughs> and we're in. And that's what's called being locked in, guys. <laughs> that's what's called locking the fuck in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I just, uh, <coughs> yeah, I haven't really been keeping up too much with that, like, sweet baby stuff. The like the, the it's over yeah, portion. I, of I mean, this. I know that uh, Gamergate is back. Yeah, that's it for damn sure. But I yeah, I haven't looked into it too deeply. But I'm pretty confident that I was correct when I said that gamers have been radicalized by unattractive women in I think Western games. In essence, that's probably <laughs> true. <laughs> yeah. Look, man, a man can only take so much. <laughs> yeah. We can only we take. Ri- s- but I have certainly noticed that gamers are indeed rising up. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> gamers are. I'm proud of the gamers <laughs> <laughs> rising up. <dude. laughs> yeah. If, if if serving in bug war has taught me anything, it's that um, resistance, though difficult, is not futile. 
Right. You could do that 0.0. 0. 0. <laughs> call, call her a bitch online. <laughs> Add your 0.0001% liberation. Perfect patriotism. <laughs> <laughs> send, send the journalist a death threat. <laughs> gaming liberated zero point zero zero eight, and I will keep serving until gaming is one hundred percent. Thank you for liber- your service, brother. <laughs> <laughs> send the journalist a death threat. <laughs> Post the reviewer's address. Yeah, zero point zero zero one percent completion. <laughs> yeah, but don't do um, that. For, as just for the record, yeah, don't be doing that stuff. <laughs> 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 yeah, you know, don't not don't <laughs> gaming's not that important, right, guys? Yeah, and if you do do it, say you're from some Reddit board. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just say you're from you're from r slash just neckbeard things. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you're from r slash feet. Yeah, but I mean, I guess really Gamergate never ended, and it just kind of went into stasis for a while. It became a bit of a Cold War. Yeah, <laughs> but now there's another flare-up, <laughs> because um, I believe what this company does is they go in and they edit the models, the 3D models of to the female ugly. characters <laughs> to make them ugly. That's my understanding they is what they do. They have a system where they bring in an attractive character model <laughs> that some struggling artist made, yeah. and they go, put it through the machine. <laughs> And it leads to these beat, ugly and, dog. And I think I'm I'm assuming I'm oh I'm just kind of getting a transmission here. I think they're also the ones responsible for um, like the the quips. Yes. I think they they write all the quips. They do it. And yeah. they edit the models to be ugly. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, yeah. and they add the vitiligo. And I think they invent. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure Can we get a third vitiligo slider? <laughs> <laughs> Give him a couple more options. <laughs> yeah. A really like <laughs> aggressive form. <laughs> Make the vitiligo more aggressive. Can we hide the non-vitiligo option in a menu somewhere, <laughs> maybe? <laughs> <laughs> this isn't super inclusive. <laughs> <laughs> you should... We need to hide the. We need to make it as difficult <laughs> as possible to make just like a jacked knight. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that shouldn't be how it. Make it start <laughs> fucked up and then have them have to like undo it. <laughs> <laughs> Your problem is you start it normal and then they have to fuck it up later. Just make it start <laughs> fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it needs to be more difficult. Add in more sliders to get to normal. <laughs> you just b- hand them like a ball of yarn, and they have to undo it to just make a guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's what they do. That's what I heard. And they invented the battle pass. Yeah, the inv- yeah. <laughs> yes, that's what I've heard. Yes, they also invented battle passes, microtransactions, horse armor. They invented that was all that. Them. Yeah, Sweet baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I haven't really. I don't. I don't actually know what they're doing. I know that it's back, though. I know. I know that we're, and I know that I, as a gamer, have a duty. I see that there's a rumbling <laughs> among my people. <laughs> <laughs> what, yeah. What we what we're doing here is the equivalent of like a, like the in the during the Vietnam War, like a beat poet walking through downtown New York, <laughs> being like, "The people are mad." <laughs> <laughs> There's a rumbling in the streets. The streets are alive. <laughs> Hitting your little bong goes. <laughs> <laughs> I feel something in the air. <laughs> 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 I ain't gonna march no more. <laughs> yeah. There's something in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Earth, she's <laughs> crying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now it's just I can kind of like sense. Like I didn't even need to see any articles. No. I could just sense that Gamergate was starting again. It's coming back. <laughs> <laughs> Much like Israel Palestine, it never really ended. Yeah. It's just coming back. But there's around. been a new flare up a over <laughs> Sweet Baby Inc. <laughs> Which yeah, I, I don't know too much. I, I, I think it literally is like a from what I've seen it's some sort of like consultancy group where you can like you bring your product and they're like, well, it could be more inclusive in this way or that way. Mm-hmm. And then I mean, I think probably the, the, the fundamental thing, I think, with Gamergate 1 and now Gamergate 2 mm-hmm. is you have... Um, <laughs> GG1 and <laughs> GG2. <laughs> yeah, is y- you've got libdar- libtards producing products for chuds. <laughs> and there's an, like, an essential disconnect there. Yes. yes. And, and, that <laughs> yes. <laughs> and much like a tectonic plate... It rubs against each other, it rubs against each other, and then it <laughs> it bursts out. <laughs> yeah, <coughs> it is a weird... Yeah, it's one of the b- the largest, like, um, disconnects from, like, producer to consumer. You know how, like, Carhartt has blue-collar workers 
making clothes for blue collar workers. Yeah. Gaming has like seemingly entirely like frumpy they thems Mm -hmm. and like wafy Norwood nines with like round glasses. Yeah, and like making um, (laughs) what's that? What's the what's the Borderlands guy named Randy something? I have no idea. Oh, there's uh, it's it's one of the, probably the, one of the best videos that GamerGate the best cultural products that GamerGate one produced. Yeah, was this guy? It's like Randy something, I think. Um, he's but he's the guy who who's like the head of the studio that makes Borderlands. Oh, okay. You know, so it's like ultra like Reddit shit. Yeah, the real Bazinga. And Bazinga. He, and he got so angry at GamerGate that he uh, like made a video where he came out with an acoustic guitar and sang a song. Nobody likes a bigot. <laughs> I actually have it. It's like on the in the drive in the folder for oh. the live show. <laughs> it's been there for like weeks. I've just never got around to playing it. But, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you have guys like that who make a product for like, um, for billions must die, guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, the West has fallen. It, billions yeah, must die. you can kind of see it. You've got like you know in some San Francisco office building. <laughs> you've got two they them's. They put in the code, and then in like you know Idaho or something. In a darkened basement, much like this one, (laughs) (laughs) you can see in the glow of the computer monitor a pale face and glasses, (laughs) (laughs) frowning (laughs) at the the gay, libtarded product that's been presented to (laughs) (laughs) him. Like a ghostly... (laughs) <laughs> round face. Yeah, he's <laughs> just got the like incoming transmission, <laughs> and it's reflected in his glasses in the dark, and before his scowling eyes. <laughs> Why are they black? <laughs> That's always what the issue is, too. The issue is always, why are they black? Why are there so many black people in space? (laughs) (laughs) The issue always seems to be like, yeah, with from there, like... (laughs) That's so funny. (laughs) What a beautiful visual. If we have any animators listening, please... Please, like any like uh, 3D modeler guys, please make that a reality. Like the Silicon Valley guys <laughs> sending transmissions. That's so funny. Yeah, from their polycule. <laughs> it's like their office slash co living co- polycule space. <laughs> that visual is so funny. <laughs> Just a little round face in the dark. <laughs> hey. <laughs> what the hell is this? <laughs> yeah. But, like, the issue always when when like a new game comes comes out that's like woke. Yeah, it is just guys dancing around the fact that it's like there shouldn't be Latinos here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a factor. <laughs> Although there are legit like s- s- some female video game characters. Where I see a picture and it's like, what the f- <laughs> <laughs> normal women aren't that ugly. <laughs> like, I've seen a few. Like, like that is way sub average. <laughs> like, like to the point where it's like that. It's on purpose. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty <laughs> fucked up looking <laughs> person. <laughs> but yeah, like, what? Why are there so many black people in a fantasy <laughs> setting like that? Yeah, it's it's a thing. <laughs> I've, I've seen it before. Yeah. I saw think I saw that about uh, Baldur's Gate. Yeah, they were like elves are not ethnically <laughs> black. <laughs> it's like, well, it's not real. <laughs> elves aren't real. They can be black if they want. Yeah, uh, yeah, I, I love seeing that kind of stuff. Yeah, <laughs> and get ready to see a lot more of it. A ton, because GamerGate <laughs> is back. Well, it's gamer, and it's gearing up just in time for the election too. <laughs> <laughs> if Trump addresses GamerGate in a debate, look, you elect me, I'll make gaming girls <laughs> hot again. <laughs> <laughs> I'll make gaming. You remember Tomb Raider, Lara Croft? She was hot. Yeah. She was beautiful. Now look at her. She's beat <laughs> like a dog. <laughs> we'll bring her back. <laughs> <laughs> Lara Croft, she'll be above an eight again. I promise. Uh, message to my special anime soldiers. They're not <laughs> here in the crowd tonight. They're at home on their computers. But <laughs> we love them, don't we, folks? <laughs> we love you guys. We love you. You guys are holding it down on online, on Discord. Yeah, in front of uh, 30,000 Three hundred and fifty pound grandmas and grandpas <laughs> doing a special shout out to the <laughs> to all the anime girl Abbies. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to all the cat boys. I like. I see you. Yeah. I know you're not here tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, that's good stuff. But yeah, it's an exciting time to be alive. 
It is. It's re- <laughs> Gamergate 2. <laughs> I'm culturally <laughs> back. I'm like revitalized culturally. Yeah. The culture has not been this rich in a long time. I wasn't like I wasn't really at, tapped into Gamergate 1. Um, no, I was like pretty young during it. But I saw a thing going around. I know like one of the big figures in it was Anita Sarkeesian. Yes. Who I, I don't she was like a game reviewer or something. I don't know. She does, was a do, does doesn't matter. <laughs> but I saw a thing going around from this last week <coughs> that um she had like a like a wedding birthday party, but it like it wasn't her getting married to anyone. It was just she like threw herself a wedding and had all her like friends and stuff and had like pictures in a white dress with like flowers and things. Ooh. <laughs> people People were pointing out how sad that was. <laughs> like, Why would they do that? I have no idea. Why would a guy find that sad? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Nothing sad about that. It's weird. It's a little strange. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's incredibly <laughs> sad. It's fucking... Good Lord. <laughs> Jesus. Even if you do that, don't make a thing about it. You know? <laughs> yeah, don't post about it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's kind of like like um, pushing like a... a baby stroller with a bundle of rags around. This is a female <laughs> equivalent of that fucking guy whose dad filmed him in his room counting down New Year's with a VTuber. Oh. <laughs> yeah. This is the female equivalent of that. It's like, I'm having a wedding for no one. <laughs> Those are the two sides of the Gamer Game <laughs> battle. Simultaneous <laughs> opposing ideas. <laughs> a right brain and a left brain concept held simultaneously. Yeah. Yeah, that's the same shit, though. That's, like, incredibly depressing. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> I would never. If I did that kind of thing, I would never tell anyone. But I'm not. Too, I'm not too. I, I know she was part of Gamergate one. Yeah, I don't know what for. What. I'm not sure. Doesn't matter. No, I know she's <laughs> the enemy. <laughs> yeah, a woman online. <laughs> <laughs> that target acquired. <laughs> Tar- target. <laughs> Got her. We could probably solve a lot of um, our cultural problems. Yeah. If if um, we just like sex segregated the internet. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if, like if there, there was, was an internet <laughs> for boys <laughs> and an internet for girls. And maybe there's like a third, like, you know, um, neutral zone one. Yeah, 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 or whatever. <laughs> sort of like the social dance. <laughs> 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 but other than that, yeah, there's boys online and girls <laughs> online. <laughs> and uh, this is not, a, we're not trying to make a point about how there's only two genders. It's whatever you feel you are. Sure. Get on that portion of online. But that was, I think that would. That would solve so much. A lot of problems. So <laughs> Straight up, that would solve and so much. And probably be better for e- everyone. Yes. Yes. If, if if most things were just like, here's the boy version, here's the girl version, mm-hmm. I do think there would be less. Here's the movies for boys. Here's the movies for girls. Yeah. Here, movies for boys. Kevin Spacey's in it. <laughs> Tom Cruise is in it. <laughs> yeah, you know, real man's man <laughs> movies Mel like Gibson. Kevin Spacey. <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, this is this movie's so macho. It's got <laughs> Kevin Spacey kissing boys. <laughs> you know the Hell's Angels used to kiss each other just to prove they're straight. <laughs> and then here's the girls' movies. It has uh, mm-hmm. Timothy Chalamet, mm-hmm. Sidney Sweeney. Yeah, uh, the guy from Saltburn. Apparently, Sidney Sweeney's big old knockers ended wokeness recently. <laughs> How? I, I don't know. There was just a headline. I think it was the it national. Sydney Sweeney's big old knockers ended wokeness. In not those exact words, but like <laughs> yeah, um, I think it was the National Post actually, Pride of Canada. <laughs> and I didn't read the article, but I saw the the um, screenshot of the headline going around. Yeah, and it was a picture of um, Sydney Sydney Sweeney's like big tits, <laughs> with the uh, caption was something like Sydney Sweeney's beauty has ended wokeness. How? <laughs> How? I don't know. Do you want to read the article? <laughs> That's like a very wild headline. Yeah. Well. I mean, I mean, hey, good, good. That's all it took. Yeah, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet baby ink is in shambles right now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um. Let's see. End wokeness. Yeah, it's over for Sweet Baby Ink. That's for sure. <laughs> That's for Sydney sure. Sweeney had her. She was on um. SNL showing off her big boobs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what's going on? <coughs> okay, <coughs> are Sydney Sweeney's breasts double D harbingers of the death of woke? <laughs> Whoa! 
This is what the public is asking, at least those on social media, after the Euphoria actress garnered a particularly large audience as host of Saturday Night Live last week. Sweeney is obviously a conventionally attractive young woman, and if you don't personally admire her beauty, we can all agree that she's got a voluminous appeal. This is a creepy article. (laughs) (laughs) Something's creepy about this. Yeah, I don't... I don't quite get how this is ending. Who wrote this? Um, Amy Ham. Hmm. I wonder if that's her birth name or something she earned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, <coughs> we got we got the drift. Wokeness is over. Wokeness is done. Yeah. So shut up. And that's why Helldivers Two is out. Yeah. Of oh, the final nail, <laughs> the coffin of wokeness. <laughs> The pro-fascist nail in the coffin <laughs> of wokeness. <laughs> yeah. <coughs> well, yeah. democracy. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's not. I don't. <coughs> also, it's like, it, well, war propaganda is bad. It's like, not I if it's against bugs not or if machines. It's against bugs. It's bugs and robots. Yeah. It really. It's that they, they picked like the two enemies, who it's like, well, yeah, you gotta fight against bugs or robots. Yeah. Who. Who else are you going to fight against <laughs> <laughs> if you're trying not to, like, alienate anybody? Who yeah. else are you going to pick for the enemy? Well, and those are, like, the two where, like, you know, if Earth got attacked by either, like, giant space bugs or, like, evil intelligent machines, yeah. it's kind of like, all right, well, you gotta, you got to sign up to fight against them because those are, like, humanity's two most deadly enemies. Yeah, bugs yeah. Bugs and machines. Yeah, if it was, like... Oh, there's there's space Dominicans. Yeah. I'd be like, all right, well, I can see how some people might not yeah, like this. Yeah, well, we can just you know chill gonna, on that. I'm gonna play it anyway because <laughs> it's <Yeah>. really fun, <laughs> and I'm not playing it for the Dominican shit. It's yeah. just really <laughs> fun to call an airstrike. <laughs> <laughs> but, but like bugs and robots, no harm. But <clears throat> you're gonna get you gonna crawl up my ass because I'm killing a couple bugs. Yeah, sure. Well, that was the thing like you know when there was the big Starship Troopers debate. Yeah, it's all like, oh well, humans are colonizing these planets but it's like well so are the bugs so are the bugs we gotta get there first before the bugs <laughs> this is how humanity's operated for years since yeah. the beginning <laughs> since it, this is what we do yeah that's the shit we do <clears throat> it does make Sorry fighting sp- in a space bug war look kinda sick extremely I mean, you, you die a lot yeah I would but. die instantly <laughs> yeah. I would die from the running <laughs> yeah. the amount of running you have to do in hell divers <laughs> I'd be like alright I'm <laughs> oh, I'm just gonna lay down here. I'm just gonna like <laughs> crawl in one of the bug holes and chill for a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> no cigarettes in space bug war. <laughs> I'm out. I guess not. Yeah. It's done. I was just thinking about how much I would enjoy being in the bug war, but never mind. <laughs> <laughs> no cigarettes. No gaming. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm good. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, <clears throat> like uh, <laughs> yeah, that's the whole thing humanity does fight bugs. I'm sorry that the space bug war game isn't about us evolving into like f- fourth dimensional beings that don't believe in war or love or death or... Mm-hmm. Are people actually that pissed about it? I don't think so anymore but I remember mm-hmm. seeing a lot about it. Mm-hmm. A lot of people were like, this is bad. And it's like, well, you just have... It's like hold, It's like guns. Like people who are like opposed to like a gun as like a concept mm-hmm. just haven't held one. Yeah, I mean, I saw a lot of like the Starship Trooper stuff. Mm-hmm. I didn't see a ton about the Hell Divers specifically. I think it was sparked like the Starship Trooper stuff came from the Hell Divers stuff. Yeah, people, uh, I've also that seen a lot of discussion about media literacy. Right, well, that was a big thing in the Starship Troopers one. Yeah. Like, oh, you people are so media illiterate. You're supposed to sympathize with the bugs. <laughs> 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 like, if you're media literate, you understand that the bugs are actually the good guys. They're the heroes. <laughs> this is a pro bug movie. <laughs> <laughs> Paul Verhoeven made a pro bug movie and like i i love i i love paul verhoeven oh yeah i like the i love starship trooper i actually watched it when there's all the discourse going on i was awesome. like that movie's sick i'm gonna rewatch <laughs> that so good yeah. rules. <laughs> he's awesome yeah showgirls fucking robocop yeah showgirls is really great good. really good like i didn't watch it for a long time but at some point i was like wait a second he was in like his american streak yeah where he did like three like 10 out of 10 movies yeah and right in the middle is this one and yeah. you're telling me it's bad yeah no chance and i was like and i watched it and it was great it's awesome yeah yeah he yeah he his shit is so uh, also apparently that robocop game is really good i've heard that yeah i yeah. haven't played it but something about um traditional the values upon which this country was built always seem to appeal to a lot of people a- apparently in the book of starship troopers yeah 
I guess Paul Verhoeven didn't like finish reading it. Nice. Um, but I guess in the very end, there's a twist reveal that Johnny Rico and all his friends are Tagalog speaking Filipinos. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's I think so it's like the last like <laughs> sentence. It's like revealed that he's been Filipino the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> More books should do that. Yeah. Should reveal the ethnicity of their characters at the very end. <laughs> I don't know how he like phrased that exactly. <laughs> Just like last sentence, like by the way. <laughs> everyone, this book was translated from Tagalog, and everyone's Filipino. <laughs> <laughs> everyone's Filipino. <laughs> We're gonna do that when this show ends too. Yeah. By the way, <laughs> these guys have both been Filipino. <laughs> yeah, been Filipino the entire time. <laughs> Wait, they're Filipino? <laughs> Always have been. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Turn off effects. <laughs> just. <laughs> just do like we just shrink. <laughs> <laughs> Five foot four. Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> and we're speaking tagalog. <laughs> God, that'd be awesome. Yeah, at the very end is like a Scooby Doo like mask pull. Yeah, and we're just two like swagapino guys. Yeah, with high fades. Yeah, <laughs> two elderly <laughs> Filipino men. <laughs> Or two elderly Chinese men who've <laughs> <laughs> just been talking about fishing. Yeah, and playing Mahjong the whole time. <laughs> the translation's been broken. We've used a translation software. We were spo- smoking cigarettes. Yeah, smoking cigs <laughs> and just fucking talking about fishing. Yeah. When you cross the river, often the fish hear you on the bridge. So you cross the bridge and then wait like a ten minutes. Then you cast a line. <laughs> Fish don't know you're there. <laughs> the oh. translation software is like, Gamergate is back. <laughs> <laughs> Gamergate. It's Gamergate 2, people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's good stuff. I love gaming. Yeah, gaming? Gaming's the best. Listening listening to dark ambient music and gaming? Oh, okay. I want to... This is like my most wanted video okay. that I want to find. Yeah. This is a call, plea for help. Call to action. But it's it's like set over footage of it's definitely like Mass Effect stuff and like video game spaceships going off. I think I've t- t- told you about my I know the one, hunt yeah. for this video. Yeah. And it's like over this footage and it's got the voiceovers kind of like why sometimes people ask me <laughs> why I game. Why do I game? Because when I'm in game, I can be anyone <laughs> and i can do anything <laughs> and like it's it's like 2 or 3 minutes of that <laughs> and it's really really good yeah. but it's i cannot find it that's really and, good. and you can't search like when i, when I game because you <laughs> hit like 10 billion things yeah. right <clears throat> yeah people showing off all the <laughs> Ma- maybe all i'll the just have to ma- remake <laughs> it myself from memory <laughs> When I game, <laughs> <laughs> it's just footage of Slay the Spire. <laughs> <laughs> Me sitting eight hours into a Slay the Spire deck building thing, dark ambience on max. <laughs> <laughs> when I game, <laughs> I can be anyone. <laughs> I can be a a knight climbing the spire, or an assassin climbing the spire, <laughs> or even. A robot climbing the spire. <laughs> when I game, I can cut my hands on broken glass in Project Zomboid. Yeah. When I game. But, like, the real one, it was all like, yeah, like, I can be blasting across the, you know, planes of another planet on a hover bike. Or <laughs> riding a dragon in Skyrim. <laughs> <laughs> or, like, romancing a lizard in Mass Effect. <laughs> <laughs> when I game, <laughs> there was like an era of like, uh, I think it was like 2013 when like, yeah, there was just this appeal to be like not in your house. Like every game was just like d- this foreign planets and strange <laughs> biomes, and then that was like enough. Yeah, you know I mean? there was like this. Like, that was like the marketing for a lot of things. Maybe I'm hallucinating. I didn't really game much then. No? No. I was like 12, so I was like, oh, that's all I did. I w- when I quit World of Warcraft, I didn't play like any video games for 
probably like eight years. Oh, damn. Yeah, I just like fully stopped. Damn. When did you quit World of Warcraft? Probably like 2009 or something. Damn. Yeah. <coughs> damn. You yeah. just went cold turkey. Yeah, pretty much. How did you survive? I, I was just a uh, lost soul. <laughs> Just had globes Wandering through uh, planes, you know, blank white planes of nothingness and despair. <laughs> Just echoing, <laughs> echoing <laughs> the, the memories of Call of Duty <laughs> or of World of Warcraft. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then I um, what did you? What got you back into gaming? I bought a uh, used copy of Dark Souls One for Xbox 360, Damn. which I still had kicking around. Damn, <laughs> nice. Like, yeah, one of those a used game store, and yeah. I was like, um, "Yeah, I got it for like ten bucks or something." It's been out for a while. Nice. And yeah, I got fucking hooked on it. Yeah, it's <laughs> the shit. <laughs> when I game, yeah, I'm the unkindled. <laughs> I am the I'm the seeker of ash. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and here I am. that's my gaming story. <laughs> <laughs> and that's how I that's how I enlisted in Gamergate 2. <laughs> <laughs> and that's my gaming story. <laughs> gaming isn't just a hobby. It's a lifestyle. Mhm. And that's why I game. <laughs> that's why I game. <laughs> Make sure to game responsibly. Yeah. I game. I've, I've been gaming irresponsibly. <laughs> I was up late last night killing bugs. I did stay up too late last night. Killing bugs. I was fucked up all day today. Yeah. I was just tired all day. Yeah. From serving. <laughs> <laughs> from <laughs> war. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> yeah, it was irresponsible, but I, I, wa- I really wanted to get that napalm. <laughs> yeah. I <laughs> And then I did, and it was great. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and I literally cannot wait to do it immediately when this is done. The speed. Home. Yeah, what are we doing on time? <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at? 40 minutes. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> God, time. Okay, we're just going to read through my Twitter likes for 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we all want to get home and <clears throat> play hell die. <laughs> <laughs> I do like the, like, uh, I, I wanted to do that for an episode of, like, it's the episode where we just kind of, like, ran out of shit to talk <laughs> about. <laughs> so it's just you and I just being like, <sighs> and here Damn. we are. Do you see, um, do you see <coughs> Dune Two? No. Oh, that's something we can talk. The Oscars. Yeah. Oscar gold are being handed out. And unfortunately, for timing wise, it's tomorrow. Mm. Um. Let's. What? I don't know even know what the nominees are, but let's get some locks. You know in. what? Actually. Mm, yeah. We'll, let's get some locks in. We'll do let's it on this some, one. Some Chrome Boys lock. Or do you want to do it on the page? Do you want to do some film speculation and then save the locks for the page? It'll be <coughs> it'll be more topical if we do it on this one, because this one will come out first. True. And uh, True. <coughs> so I guess for you, the listener, the Oscars were yesterday. And, you know, we're <coughs> we have a lot of practice, you know, doing our famous sight unseen reviews. Constantly. So I don't see why we can't review the Oscars, the Oscars that happened yesterday. Yeah. Sight unseen. Yeah. Sight yeah. unseen. We're good. Um, what do we think won? What are I the nominees? Even know. I don't know. I, I, if the nominees aren't fucking... You're here. You're t- tuning in for in-depth Chrome Boys <laughs> Oscars coverage. Who's getting gold this year? Who's going to go home with gold? Who's going to go home with gold? Who looked the worst on the runway? I don't know. Who are, who are actors nowadays? They're just... Swine. S- <laughs> scum. <laughs> Paste. Disgusting just scum. Swill. I think I am going to go see Dune 2 tomorrow. I still got to see Dune 1. I really want to see it for the worm. Um, yeah, it's it's got some worm, that's for sure. <laughs> Did you see the bucket they have? <laughs> Did I see it? <laughs> Brother, I used it. I saw someone be like <laughs> <laughs> going up and ordering the Dune bucket, extra butter, no popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> that is a crazy thing they made. Yeah. Like It's one of those things where it's like, man, no one caught this. I feel like that might be one where they were like, it looks like a butthole flashlight. <laughs> it'll it'll get mad like reposts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> True. Okay, actor in a leading role, Bradley Cooper for Maestro. Is that the one where he did Juno's? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. <laughs> that movie looks dreadful. Yeah. Um, Coleman Domingo for Rustin. <laughs> K. 
Okay, that's fake. <laughs> right, that's not a real movie. <laughs> it's a fake guy and movie. <laughs> Coleman Domingo? For Rustin? Coleman Domingo sounds like an NPC that asks you to collect lighters. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's not real. Sorry, if you're listening, Coleman... <laughs> You're, that's not a real name. <laughs> that's one of the. Uh, I've been noticing it more as I get older that they just like make up fake celebrities out of thin air. Yeah, oh yeah. Who just, they never existed. No. Yeah. And then suddenly they're like, Bing Bong is marrying Bloom <laughs> Blue, and it's like Coleman Domingo <laughs> is marrying uh, Francesca Xerxes. <laughs> yeah. It's All like right. neither. None of these. None of this is real. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> we got Paul Giamatti for the holdovers. You better, just because I'm a Giamatti head. Which I enjoyed. I liked that one. Cillian Murphy for Oppenheimer. Okay. Which was kind of meh. Jeffrey Wright in American Fiction. Ooh. I've heard of him. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is either. Okay. That's um, the men. That's, that's the, the men. <coughs> the boys. I'm gonna, what's our lock on that? I'm going to lock in... Wait, was that all white guys except for Coleman Domingo? Uh, Jeffrey Wright's black, I think. Oh. Am I thinking of the right guy? I, I, I don't know. I think he's black. I was picturing Jeffrey Tambor. I mean, <coughs> I know it's not going to be Bradley Cooper. No. Because, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. wants it too bad. It's unseemly. Yeah, it's he's gro- groveling. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I heard, I don't know who said this. It was some Somebody, like, you know, in the biz, mm-hmm. in the know, said that Bradley Cooper wants an Oscar more than anybody has ever wanted anything that's really gay and he did the and the maestro one because i don't think it's quite the case anymore but it used to be that like that was how you won an oscar yeah. like a biopic yeah that was where you move. where you wear a fake nose <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah that was the trick <laughs> and with like one of those dumb anecdotes like oh he spent like six years learning how to be a real conductor to <laughs> do it for 30 seconds yeah and it's got like all that shit but yeah. i don't think anything like that i don't think that counts for shit anymore no one cares yeah it was like yeah you, you could do it if you the trick to getting an oscar was a biopic where you either wear a fake nose or like have a disability yeah. There yeah. <laughs> if you have a disability, uh, I can't if you have like a. <laughs> I am sad. I think you won the Oscar. <laughs> if you were able to have a disability, <laughs> yeah, with like a fake nose. So yeah. he he had fake nose and Jewish in this one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're not going to um, give him the Oscar for that. But level yeah, there's of groveling. no way for that. No. Coleman Domingo's not even real, so that's, <laughs> that's not, not even going to be a thing. <laughs> They're um, gonna put up a placeholder image on the cam. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he couldn't make it. Tonight. It'll have like a uh, what, like a watermark on it, like a stock image. <laughs> well, they didn't want to hit get run into the Oscars, so white people, so they had to make up a fake <laughs> fake Dominican <laughs> guy. <laughs> <laughs> and they no went to Sweet Baby, and they were like, "Hurry, we need a Dominican guy." <laughs> Nobody, <laughs> nobody's gonna notice but us. <laughs> what, what's, what movie is he in? Uh, Rustin. Rustin? <laughs> Rusting? No, Rustin. That's Rustin. wild. <laughs> Rustin sounds like a small town racist boy's name. Yeah. Um. So I'm gonna uh, <clears throat> maybe uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go Paul Giamatti one. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go Killian Murphy. Yeah, so probably one of those two. I haven't heard of the other movie, but... No, I haven't heard of most of these. Yeah. Because they're not real. Yeah. What's the next category? Um. Okay, actors in a supporting role. Do we care about that? No. <laughs> Ryan Gosling, Barbie. Yes. I'm going to lock that that's in. A, and that's a lock. That's a lock. That's <laughs> it and, if it's, <laughs> and if it's wrong, <laughs> send some letters. Yeah, well, yeah, that would be a mistake on the Oscars part. Okay, actress in a leading role. Annette Benning and Nyad, fake That's movie. Not a real movie. Fake movie. We got Lily Gladstone and Killers of the Flower Moon. Probably not. Which uh, nah, she'll. she'll uh, I think she'll probably win that. Oh yeah, I still haven't seen it. I I thought it was kind of boring. I think and most people did. She spent the whole movie um, suffering from complications of diabetes. Oh, disability. <laughs> okay, so that's okay. But um, I'd say it's probably between her and Emma Stone in Poor Things, which I saw and actually quite enjoyed. It was good. It was good. And I'm not a I'm not a Yorgos guy for the most part. Oh, really? I liked Dogtooth, but like I hated the Lobster. Oh, really? And I didn't really like Killing of a Sacred Deer. <clears throat> I liked all those a lot. But I liked I liked Poor Things very mm-hmm. much. So I enjoyed okay. it. And she was really good in it. Okay. So I would probably go with her. 
but I'm going to guess it's going to be Lily Gladstone. For being diabetic? For being diabetic. For having diabetes. And that's the Chrome Boys uh, lock. And that's a lock. <laughs> <laughs> that's a lock. <laughs> uh, actress in a supporting role. Don't care. Nope. Um, no, it's going to be the Holdovers lady, actually. 100%. That's a lock. <laughs> that's a lock. <laughs> I love saying that's a lock. <laughs> that's a lock. That's no, a lock. actually, I think she's won, like, literally every other, like, pre-award thing. Mm. So it's it's gonna be the the black lady from the holdovers. Nice. That's a lock. That's a lock. Animated feature film. Haven't heard of it. Not real. <laughs> not real. Not real. It's Boy in the Heron versus Spider Man. Spider Man's gonna win. Mm, probably. That's my lo- that's my yeah. That's my lock. Uh, I mean, people it. like um, that Mia like Ghibli guy. Yeah, I've heard that movie's good, but yeah, it's probably gonna be Spider-Man. Spider-Man's just been such a like mind virus. Like everyone who sees it like has to tell you about it. Yeah, and if you say that you watch something else, people who like have seen it have been like, they literally go cops in mode. They're like, why, why, <laughs> <laughs> why? I I do want to see Boy in the Heron though. I've heard it's good. <clears throat> yeah, I'll check that out. I'm not gonna watch Spider-Man. Like no, what. as a point of principle. Well, and I just don't like. I don't care. Yeah, um, cinematography. Who's nominated? Um, the movies are El Conde. That's the fake one in this. Yeah, that's not thing. the real one there. We got Killers of the Flower Moon, Maestro, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. I feel like Oppenheimer. I'm gonna say line. Oppenheimer. Yeah. Hoyt van Hoytema. It's a cool name. It's a very cool. I name. like when people have kind of the same first and last name. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Hoyt van Hoytema. So I'm gonna lock in Hoyt van Hoytema for that one. <laughs> yeah, I think Oppenheimer is gonna take that one. Uh, costume design. We got Barbie, Killers of the Flower Moon, Napoleon, Oppenheimer, and Poor Things. I think Barbie's going to win I think that. probably Barbie, yeah. That'll be probably the one Barbie wins. Yeah, I mean, uh, The Goose. Yeah, right. That's right, the right. second one. And they're going to get the song, too. Yeah, 100%. Believe, yeah. yeah. Um, okay, directing. Anatomy of a Fall. Killers of the Flower Moon, Oppenheimer, Poor Things, Zone of Interest. Ooh. I could see Martin Scorsese pulling that one. Yeah. Who pulled it for... The last year he had a movie though. Who was he up against in 2019 for directing? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I know like Parasite won that year. Yeah. I don't know. Um, <laughs> but that was also the first year they let director. foreign films like contend. Yeah. So I think partially. Like, like, I think Anatomy of a Fall is German. Mm. Zone of Interest I found kind of boring. Like of these, my favorite was Poor Things. Mm. That I've seen. I haven't seen Anatomy of a Fall. But anyway, I don't. I don't even know on that one. I'm gonna say Martin Scorsese's The Lock. That's our possibly Christopher Nolan though. I feel like Nolan could take it. Yeah, that's the lock. One of the. It'll be one of those two. That's my lock. Has, has <laughs> Nolan ever won a, an Oscar? I don't know. Probably not. Maybe, but like probably some like. Hmm, probably not. I don't feel like he has. Yeah. Like, like his movies probably won like best like sound mixing and shit yeah. like that. Those kind of things. Yeah, but best visual like cinematography. Okay, documentary feature film. Don't care. Yeah, no. no <laughs> can I just say this about documentaries? <laughs> I hate giving credit. Like, documentary is like the worst like test for if a director is good. It's the worst way to be like he's good at filmmaking because he made a good documentary. I like some documentaries. Oh, me too. But, but th- they're entirely based on like the story the guy found. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like yeah, it's yeah, old, yeah, like a true. really well-made documentary yeah. about some boring shit. And it sucks. I feel like there's not that many. Like, like I think most of my favorite documentaries. Yeah. Like it's not like the, the person did other things. No. It's no, not like they, they had a streak. It's like that the American movie guy found Mark Borchardt. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know? Yeah. <laughs> the, the fucking uh, act of killing guy just discovered these like Malaysian dudes who'd killed like 300 people. Yeah. It was like, holy shit. Or like. Uh, Tiger King. Yeah. Or uh, Darkon. <laughs> we watched not so long ago. Yeah. Or like the King of Kong. Like shit like that. Yeah. Like, or like they're, the they're great. Rajneesh Puram, like uh, American. Yeah, country. like sure, it's all yeah. just as good. It's only as good as the story that it's about, and any other aspect of it is like entirely, basically negligible. Yeah, I hate I hate documentaries as like a like. He's a really good filmmaker because of the documentary. Well, and I I do kind of hate the Michael Moore thing, you know, like the Michael Moore super massage me mm. style of documentary, like the heavy message. Well, not even that. It's just that they like they don't really have a cool story, but they have like the message and like the slick production. The message is the. G- it's usually the guy, like a Michael Moore yeah. documentary made that's, by anyone who didn't. That's happen. just him. It's just him. But yeah. I would much rather watch <clears throat> some like get yeah, guy in Wisconsin try and make a horror movie with his like trailer park ass friends yeah, <laughs> or something. Yeah. I'd rather watch fucking Tiger King. 
Yeah. Because that's like, that one's like, it's a good documentary because this guy just found a crazy person who's like good for instant and like infinite content. Okay, actually, let's just okay. So, documentaries we got Bobby Wine, the People's <laughs> President. Okay. The Eternal Memory. Wow. Four Daughters. Oh my God. To Kill a Tiger. Okay. And Twenty Days in Mariupol. See, none of these sound like yeah. I'm hanging out with homeless people and getting them to do stunts. <sighs> okay, documentary short. Really don't care. Film editing. Yeah. No, yeah. no, none of them. <laughs> yeah. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. <laughs> uh, I used to think it was rude that the um, the Academy was like, we're gonna air a bunch of the awards during commercials. <laughs> I used to think it was rude, and then I was like, well, no. <laughs> <laughs> Truly, no one gives a fuck. Yeah, I mean, even like editing, which is like extremely important to how a movie comes out. Yeah. And and it's one of the, like how do you say it's like the best for things like this? The, well, they, they like the, the editing on the all of these movies is going to be like perfect. Yeah, you know, yeah. like the, there's some styles in edit, but like good editing, you don't really like notice it for the most part. Yeah, like good it's editing, like, and there's it's always like like Paul Thomas Anderson movies are always like very well edited, but you don't notice. Yeah, and they only just they just add value upon like further rewatches. Because yeah, I mean some things like you know. Chrome Boys podcast, the editing is like Slick. so top notch that it really like adds several dimensions. <laughs> it's sort of yeah, it's not, you're not just watching a show, but for pod. a movie, it's kind of whatever. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's not like a podcast <laughs> where the editing is crucial to the the medium. Yeah, no, but like truly, like I when I was like younger and I heard that they were like, yeah, we're just gonna give these out during yeah. commercial. I was like, that's rude. Yeah, I, I had the same thing, but it's kind of like. Who did the best sound <laughs> mixing? It's like, like, dude, they were like, that's their moment to shine. And it's like, yeah, and like Brad Pitt has to yeah. clap for that guy. Yeah. So that's pretty. And nice. I mean, it is important. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, but it's not like important. Like it's important in the way that like you want, like your um axle on your car to be correctly installed. Yes. Yeah. Y- you know, yeah. like it's, it's important, a- but yeah. I don't want to ever think about it's it. It's only noticeable when it's done poorly. Yeah. And so it's like and like at the end of the day it's like you're not taking really anything away from that guy. Well he gets it. to say he won it when he's trying to find work in the future. He'd yeah. be like it was the best. Yeah and I he gets it. to he gets to have like Catherine Zeta Jones like read his name. Right. And like yeah. have like you know fucking <laughs> <laughs> Margot Robbie like have to clap and be like great job yeah. yes I'm good you know yeah. so like that's it's a like pretty look good down day. Sydney Sweeney's shirt. <laughs> He gets to get drunk at the after party and, like, fuck a child. Yeah, so, like, and get one of those $20,000 Wayfair um, <laughs> prize packages. <laughs> a, way, a dresser from Wayfair. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so, like, it's still a good it's day. It's a win. It's still a win. That's a huge win. Okay, international feature film. I haven't they heard, still have I haven't it. Heard I thought it. international films could just, run, like, be... They, s- they still have it as a separate thing. Cool. Yeah, which often... <clears throat> If you look in the, like, not even, like, the final five nominees, Mm -hmm. but just because each country, like, submits, like, their nominee. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for good foreign films, there's often some real good ones. Usually Oscars are not a good way to find good movies to watch. No. But the foreign film thing, there's often some really good stuff in there. Because it's like that country kind of selects it. Yeah. Which doesn't say it's the best, but Mm -hmm. there's often good good ones that are, like... Good stuff in there, yeah. Yeah. But these ones... Not real. Um. Yeah, all fake. There's a zone of interest I've seen, so I can confirm that one's real. The rest I couldn't say. Okay, <laughs> Canada just submits road trip cancer movies every year. <laughs> yeah, never gets, gets any oh play. I don't think Canada counts as foreign. It's hard to say because we would never get nominated anyway. W- so. Nothing we do is even like remotely <laughs> close to being much like sound mixing. Nobody, <laughs> nobody, nobody gives. gives a shit. We're, just, we're not putting out anything fucking cool at all. Like the last cool thing Canada put out was Crimes of the Future. Yeah, David Cronenberg can't get fucking money. Yeah, David <laughs> David Cronenberg <laughs> like can't get money our again. greatest, our the greatest guy, filmmaker, the best guy by miles. Yeah, by I'd say miles. especially for working in Canada. Yeah, I mean you could you could, one could argue that James Cameron, but he sure. doesn't do shit in Canada. Just fuck cause, all. Cause he, yeah, David. Yeah, like he David can't Cronenberg, get money, so that's and like he could easily and I he, I'm sure he often does like go to the states like that's where he gets most of his money for movies. 
Yeah. And then he comes back and he makes them shoot in Canada. But like, if we had any sense, Telefilm would just give him a blank check constantly. Yeah. Every year, they'd be yeah. like, here's as soon as he finishes you, one, here's how much you want for the next yeah. one. You give him his. If next they had any brain at all, yeah, they'd be like, here's make as much as you want because you're the be- you're the best guy we have. Denis Villeneuve is working in in America. James Cameron's gone. They're working yeah. in America. They don't want to. They're doing like the he's biggest guy. shit. <coughs> he's, he's our. He's guy. the only the only guy who's ever made a good movie set in Toronto. Denny Villeneuve did Enemy. That's set in Toronto. That's a good movie. Is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. I, like I didn't one. realize it was set in Toronto. I didn't either until you see like this. There's like a shot of the skyline. Oh, okay. Like, oh, okay, it's Toronto. Oh. Okay. There's a shot of like a big spider walking through the skyline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, that's, All right, cool. that's Toronto. But like. Yeah, other than that, like we just suck off American companies to be like, we have cool cities too, and we'll do it. You could do it for free. <laughs> you don't even have to pay any money. <laughs> then The Last of yeah. Us comes and like doesn't edit the city at all. It just looks normal, and they're like, oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the yeah. apocalypse here. <laughs> Everything looks like shit. <laughs> yeah, and then they put like a bunch of our guys to work for like two weeks, and then they're like, all right, thanks, see ya. <laughs> yeah, and it's like, and then it just it doesn't do fuck all. I don't know. I think, when really realized that like the, their their strategy just doesn't work at all. I don't know. Like, we have, like, there's, like, rural towns that their whole economy is waiting for, like, a show to need, like, a extremely low-rent farm. Yeah, for somebody doing, like, a uh, cheaper Yellowstone knockoff. They're doing Greystone. (laughs) They're doing fucking (laughs) another show, another movie about Jesse James. Yeah, Yellow Rock. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, like, we have whole towns, especially in Alberta, that it's, like, yeah, we just know there's, like, no work here, and we just wait for, like shows to need like low tax woods <laughs> yeah <laughs> <clears throat> okay I've skipped a bunch of the categories that nobody gives a shit about mm-hmm. makeup it's gonna be Barbie yeah but uh, best picture <clears throat> we got American fiction may or may not be real <laughs> anatomy of a fall German <laughs> Barbie gay gay <laughs> <laughs> the Holdovers, decent. Killers of the Flower Moon, boring. Maestro, try hard, gay, <laughs> comma, gay. <laughs> Oppenheimer, kind of boring. Yeah. Past Lives, who, I, I don't know. Potentially, <laughs> potentially fake. Haven't heard of it, probably fake. Poor Things, pretty good. Zone of Interest, boring. I'm going to say they're going to give it to Oppenheimer, probably. Yeah, that's a lock. That's my lock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's locked in. That's my lock. They're gonna yeah. give it to Oppen. I, I, that's. I feel like that's gonna be one of those like legacy Oscars. Yeah. Where they're like, oh, well, we we kind of missed you on like Interstellar and mm-hmm. like um, like Memento or what? Like your really good ones or like The Dark yeah. Knight. <clears throat> and like you know, thanks for being uh, probably being the only movie in here that made any money. <laughs> <laughs> no, Barbie's in here. Could be a curveball to Barbie. <clears throat> After the the like media storm. Yeah, could be. I think because like uh, movies have done quite poorly this year financially. Thank God. Like other than Barbenheimer. Thank God. Yeah. You know what isn't doing poor financially? Video games. Hell divers. <laughs> Hell divers. <laughs> Number one on Steam, baby. Four hundred billion people playing. <laughs> Four hundred million <laughs> f- joining the fight. <laughs> and you know what? Me enjoying a game and seeing it do well on Steam reflects yeah. well upon me. That makes me <laughs> more valid as a guy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that affirms my identity more than any surgery. I'll tell you what. Because yeah, I'm uh, <clears throat> I'm sort of part of the Hell Divers team. I play it. <laughs> I played it yesterday. I'm kind of a dev because I have about four hours logged on Steam so far. I'm level five or maybe even six. Potentially six. <laughs> There's a chance I'm level six. Yeah, I unlock the napalm. Okay. <laughs> okay. You're not talking to some hell divers rookie. Okay. Yeah. That must have been twenty minutes. <laughs> <laughs> what are we looking at? I can't. Hold on, I'll check. Oh. More than that. <laughs> okay. 23 minutes. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> We're going to go play. Back it up. <laughs>